As far as Congress is concerned, the president's tweets are officially racist. Democrats used their majority to pass the symbolic measure condemning Donald Trump's attack, telling the congresswomen to go back to where they came from. I've had people tell me to go back to China or Japan or North Korea. That is a racist insult because it's based on race. If I was white, they would not tell me to go back to China. Republicans mostly towed the party line, although four supported the resolution. Senior leaders outside were careful not to criticize Trump directly. Everyone ought to tone down their rhetoric and we ought to move back to talking about the issues. Instead of issues, the president's defenders are now embracing divisive tactics. What's your ethnicity? Uh, why is that relevant? Advisor Kellyanne Conway repeatedly asked a reporter for his ethnicity while discussing the comments. Comments Trump was happy to personally defend again today. I think it's terrible when people speak so badly about our country. On Twitter, he added, I don't have a racist bone in my body. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, one of his targets, fired back. You have a racist mind in your head and a racist heart in your chest, she tweeted. Hang tight. Stand up for your principles. Don't take any crap from Trump. Howard Dean is a former Democratic presidential hopeful. He says in this bitterly divided time, his party must focus on unity and talk more about the issues than the president. Every time he opens his mouth, he reminds people why they don't like him. We do not have to remind them of that. We have to remind them about what we're going to do differently than Trump. Democrats are going to try to build momentum around this vote, even though there are no consequences for Trump. But there could be consequences for the four Republicans who defied the president by condemning his tweets. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.